Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be filming, well I have filmed a what I eat in a day, keto edition. And I basically just went through today and went from breakfast to dinner and showed you everything that I ate, how I made it. So it's two meals and then a coffee in the morning and all my supplements. And I'm going to explain everything to you. So make sure you keep watching to see how I went from this to this. <laughs> so to start the day, I'll start with my, I'm showing you my vitamins and all my supplements. So this is my electrolytes basically. In my book, my electrolyte powder. So that's what I have to take all my electrolytes, my iron, because I'm anemic. My Barocca, which is basically, it replaces my nutritional yeast for all my B vitamins. My apple cider vinegar that I have with water, that is to help with my digestion. And this is also for the apple cider vinegar, just half a lemon. It doesn't kick you out of ketosis. So just pour in the boiled water. I literally just boiled the water before I started videoing. Then I'm going to add half of a lemon and this does not break your fast so I have been fasting since last night at 6pm that's when I stopped eating so 6pm and this is at 8am so I'm having half a lemon and it's not going to break my fast it's not enough um, sugar to break my fast so just taking my time there with the lemon <laughs> so Pour my half a lemon with my boiled water. Then I'm going to take one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar and add it to my half a lemon and water. As much water as you want. It depends how dilute you want it. I like to basically have mine quite quickly so I don't put that much water in. But it's all preference to be honest. Okay, so now for my supplements. I just pour some water and I'm going to mix that with my Barocca anytime soon. There we go. So first I put in my liquid iron, but that's this is only if you're anemic. I have iron because I'm anemic, so I just have it all together. And I don't like taking the tablets because it makes your poo green. So I have liquid iron instead. And this is my Barocca. So my Barocca, as I said before... It's, it replaces nutritional yeast, which I put in my ebook. It's for all my B vitamins, so all the side effects that are due to low B vitamins, this will help with them. So it's like an orange flavour, it's actually quite nice. And then I have my calcium, magnesium, zinc, and vitamin D tablets, and I just take that down with the um, Barocca. So I'm about to take it. I am just such a wuss when it comes to tablets. It takes me so long to actually swallow them. But I'm getting used to it. Okay, so this is at about 10am. This is my coffee. It doesn't have to be decaf. I just didn't have any non-decaffeinated coffee. That's my stevia, so that's the sweetener I use. This is the MCT oil for added fats in my coffee. And this is optional. This is ghee. It's like um, churned butter. But I don't actually even end up using it, so it's definitely optional. So I start off by putting half a teaspoon, but it is to preference. I don't really like coffee that much, so I don't really have that much coffee granules in my coffee. So I only put in half a teaspoon. Then I just add my water. As I said before, I don't like putting in that much water because I just like getting the drinks over and done with. So I like half fill the cup then I'm gonna add my MCT oil so I add a teaspoon um, a tablespoon sorry of MCT oil every morning and it's just to get your fats in early so you don't have to cook with so much oil and try and get your fats in later in the day it's better to get it in early so I add a tablespoon of MCT oil Another way to get your fats in is to add ghee, but I didn't add ghee because sometimes it's just a bit much. So I just added two cubes of my stevia for sweetener. And stir and drink. 
Okay, it's finally time to break my fast. This is low dough. It's a keto alternative for pizza dough. I really recommend it. The links will be in the description box. Mozzarella cheese because every pizza needs cheese. Pepperoni because I like pepperoni pizza, but you can put any topping you like. Passata as the tomato base. And a green juice because I don't really like vegetables that much. So sometimes I like to drink my vegetables instead of eating them. So we start by putting two tablespoons of passata. Obviously, passata, you need to be careful of how much you use because it does have sugars in it. So I only use two tablespoons and then you have to be mindful of what you're eating for the rest of the day, the amount of um, net carbs and macros for the rest of your food. So I use two tablespoons of passata as a tomato base. Then I add my pepperoni. I don't know why, but I always add my pepperoni under the cheese, but you can put it on top if you like, so you can add the cheese first if you like. So now is when you add your toppings, whatever your toppings, chicken, I don't know, pineapple, some people like, actually no, not pineapple, we're keto over here. So I add my pepperoni, and then it's time to add cheese. So I like my pizzas cheesy, so I do add quite a lot of cheese, but it is to preference. If you like your, if you don't like your pizzas that cheesy, you don't need to use that much. I use two thirds of a cup of cheese, and they're healthy. Like you can see me like stuffing it down a bit to make it a generous third of a cup. So after you finish adding your cheese and you've basically finished your pizza now, you have to line the tray that you're going to put in the oven or your quick oven or whatever you're using to cook the pizza. I use par parchment and foil but you can just use baking paper or foil but this is what I had in my house so this is what I used. And this is a finished product, <laughs> a pizza. So I'm a bit extra, so I use a pizza cutter to cut it, just to cut it quickly into four. And it might not look like Pizza Express or Papa John's, but it actually tastes nice. And when you've been keto for a while, you'll be like, wow, is this Domino's or what? Okay, so now it's dinner time. So I've just got some beef burgers, some bacon, some mushrooms, so I was looking for portobello mushrooms but this is all I found, and mozzarella cheese, um, for the salad just spinach and avocado, I wasn't trying to do too much, and chia seeds for added fat just to sprinkle on top of the salad. So first you have to prep the mushrooms, so you have to basically clean the inside, so take out everything that I'm taking out basically it's really easy but you just have to be careful so you don't split the mushrooms I always do that you just have to be a bit slow and careful with it and scrape out the insides so when you're finished scraping out the inside I just literally twist off the stalks just be slow and twist them off because I just Damaging the mushrooms is just annoying when you're trying to actually make it into bad ones. So here I forgot to actually video the ingredients, but it's literally avocado oil, oregano, salt, pepper and garlic granules. And you just coat the insides of the mushrooms with it so that they don't taste really bland. And it's good to help for when you grill them as well. Then you coat the outsides. You don't have to put a lot, but just enough to coat most of it because when you grill them they'll come out looking nice and golden so 
so I'm just showing you my spinach that I've added. I just washed some spinach and dried it. But I didn't actually video me cooking the burger and frying the bacon because I just thought that was um, there was no need because people know how to fry bacon and cook a burger. So basically, you just add that to one of the mushrooms. So you make one of them a bottom bun, one of them a top bun. But make sure you dry them because they have quite a lot of water. So just pat them dry with a um, paper towel. I'm adding my cheese by eye, but um, if you're just starting keto, make sure you actually measure how much cheese you're adding and count your macros because you don't want to go over. Too much protein isn't good, too much dairy isn't good, so it's good to count your macros. So I just added a toothpick to the burger and I'm about to cut my avocado. I am just not a champion avocado cutter. I just don't know how people do it so well. When I cut avocados, it's always so messy. So, yeah, just cut a whole avocado. Avocado is a really good source of healthy fats. So, it's really good to increase your fat intake. So, I always add a whole avocado, usually with my dinner. So, I'm cutting the avocado. I need to speed this up because it's trash. So now I'm just going to add the chia seeds on top of the salad. Chia seeds are a really good source of fat. If you've um, read my ebook, if you haven't, make sure you purchase it because it's got plenty, plenty more recipes for you on your keto journey. <laughs> a little ad there. But chia seeds and lots of other seeds are really good sources of fat. So fats aren't just fatty foods. Seeds are really good sources of fats. Now I'm going to add some ketchup. I don't know why I'm just such a ketchup fiend. Like I love ketchup. So when I found out I could have ketchup in moderation on keto, I was so happy. So I'm adding two tablespoons of ketchup. So this is the final product. Here's the salad. So it's just washed baby spinach leaves with avocado. That's a whole avocado. It doesn't really look like it, does it? A whole avocado and chia seeds sprinkled on top. And here is the burger. No. Someone tell me, is that a bun? It's looking kind of bunny, I can't lie. It's looking like a, a sesame seed bun. It's giving me sesame seed vibes. I don't know if it's just me or... But it actually really tastes nice. And once you get into the mindset of this is actually going to make me lose weight, you're just going to want to have it all the time. And it's quite quick to make as well. It's just a yes from me. Okay, guys. That's the end of my why I eat in a day. Um, I'm thinking that my next video is going to be a meal prep with me for the week. So that's probably going to be my next video next Sunday. Um, if you have any video suggestions, let me know in the comments below. Or message me on my social media and let me know what you guys want to see. Um, I've put links to all of the main products that you can't just get from like Tesco's in the description box. If you need want to see more recipes or you need more recipes, make sure you purchase my ebook. I've got a six week meal plan in Karma's Keto Sutra, and I also have a cookbook with 45 keto recipes to keep you on your keto journey because you know we have to stay keto. You feel me? So yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.